More evacuations are taking place across the Middle East with the threat of a bigger regional war. This morning, the Israeli military said it killed a senior Hamas leader in a strike on Gaza about three months ago. And that comes just a day after Iran fired more missiles at Israel and after Israel began limited ground operations in Lebanon. Now, the UK, UK, Japan and Australia are all planning evacuation flights from Lebanon. And with rising tensions comes a lot of questions and concerns. Cecil Shea with the Chicago Council on Global Affairs joins us now this morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. Well, the Jewish high holidays, Rosh Hashanah, one of them is today. Do you think that Israel would wait until the high holidays end, or could there be a chance that it launches a strike on Iran? So, that, I mean, that's an excellent question. Um, you know, in the past, when Iran has retaliated by sending missiles into Israel, and, and there was some of that about six months ago, um, because none of the missiles hit, because Israel's uh, missile defense program worked, Israel just kind of ignored it um, and, and recognized that there is a little bit of a great game going on where Iran has to save face without necessarily wanting a full-scale war. This government, meaning Israel's government, is a little unpredictable, but you know, nevertheless, I, I have to think they really don't want a war with Israel right now. Now, would they try some kind of limited attack on a nuclear site? You may have seen President Biden this morning has basically said he does not want Israel to try to do that. Would be very difficult. Iran's uh, nuclear sites are very hardened, even with Israel's advanced technology. It might not be successful and could have ramifications of causing more tensions in the Middle East, which nobody needs mm -hmm. right now. Israel has its hands full with Hezbollah and in Gaza. So if I had to guess, I would say there won't be a major war with Iran. There might be a minor retaliatory strike from Israel, or Israel may just choose to ignore um, Iran's strikes since the missile defense worked. By the way, Iran knew the missile defense system was going to work. So that's what I mean by it being a little bit of a, of a game at this point. Good context that you provided there. And there are fears that the Middle East could break out into an all-out war. Which countries do you think, Cecil, would be drawn in beyond Iran's proxies? Yeah, so Iran is very unpopular with the rest of the Middle East. I mean, it has a, a few countries with large Shiite populations. Uh, you may recall that uh, Islam is divided into two large uh, denominations, is the right word, but uh, but streams, as well as some, some smaller streams. And those are Shia and Sunni, and most of the countries in the Middle East are Sunni. Um, and traditionally have very tense relations with Iran. Um, and most of the countries in the Middle East are not very happy with Iran or Hezbollah in ways that they believe are spreading um, instability throughout the region. So you certainly wouldn't see too many countries siding with Iran. You may see one or two small countries with uh, large Shiite populations kind of looking the other way. But that in itself is a danger because you don't want a war between Iran and Saudi Arabia. Mm. You don't want a war between Iran and Egypt. And, and I think that Iran doesn't want a war with any of those countries either. And certainly the U.S. does not. And certainly Israel does not. So I, I you know, I, maybe I'm being overly optimistic. I don't think we're going to see a large war. We, might, we may see some tit for tat back and forth of the type that we've been seeing now since April and have seen again this last week. Um, but but really the question is going to be, can Israel get into Lebanon and get out quickly? Can there be some kind of ceasefire so that Israel can start to move forward? Because as of today, they have a two-front war. And it's, it's, first of all, very hard on everybody involved. I have friends in Lebanon. I have friends in Israel. I know people in Gaza. I mean, the humanitarian cost of the last year on everybody concerned is enormous. And what I have yet to see is, is a plan from Israel for what the next steps are. How are we going to move forward now? Cecile Shea, thank you so much again for your time.